It turns out this Intune app management stuff is actually pretty popular. Over the last week, I've had uh, quite a few people reach out and ask if I've heard of Robopack, and I haven't. I think it's a cool name, but I've l just simply never heard of it. Before we get into that though, it turns out I don't encourage you to subscribe often enough. Less than 15% of people who watch this channel regularly are actually subscribed to it. And you'd be surprised how much having subscribers actually really does help a channel grow. It really just helps me make videos better and better. So if you haven't subscribed, and 85% of you haven't, please subscribe. That'd be great. Anyway, Robopack. I've been told they offer a trial and it's easy to get started. And so in the interest of complete transparency and checking that that's true, I'm going to give it a go end to end. No prep. I do not have a Robopack license. I've not signed into Robopack. We're going to give it a go from the start. No prep, no pre-registration, just a trial sign up and an Intune tenant. This could either go very well or very bad for Robopack. Let's try it. So it is, I believe it's Robopack.com. We are here. I'm going to zoom in, as I always do. Maybe a bit too much, as I always do. And I choose I agree. Free trial. Enter ID or email. Um, I'll connect my Enter ID. I think that will be easier. Uh, there it is. There it is. MFA. Bear with me. Being incredibly secure. Shan't be long. Oh, it needs some permissions. Okay, let's see what these are then. So it's going to sign me in and read my profile, read organization information, and maintain access to data you've given her access to. That's very similar to what Patch My PC asked for the other the other day when I did that. I'm going to go for on behalf of organization because I can. Um, but choose accept on those. Very basic permissions from what I can see there. I guess that's really just to get the information about who I am and the organization so it can build, I don't know, the tenant within Robopack. Cool. Uh, your account has been created and it's ready to use. Go to packages to convert your first package. Convert. Interesting. Um, well, we're good. Uh, I think packages. My packages. And I can upload a new package. Okay, interesting. MECM import and bulk imports. Robo patch. I can select an app to patch. 30,000 applications. That's a lot. I have these six ones here that I can choose from. Cool. Instant apps. Uh, search more than 30,000 apps. Um, I haven't got Notepad++. Let's try that one. So, there's a lot of different versions available there. Very good. It's got all the information. It uses WinGet, it seems. Um, okay. Just before we do that, let's jump into settings and have a look at some account stuff. Oh, tenants. I haven't done a tenant yet. No Intune tenants found. I'm going to connect a tenant. See how easy that is. Just sign in again, I guess. Uh, read and write Microsoft Intune apps. Read organization information. Read profile. Write Intune apps. Hey, that's there twice. Read and write all groups. And read organization information. What's the difference between those two then? Ah, this is without a signed in user. Interesting. Cool. Let's use accept. Very easy so far. I've just accepted a couple of things. Still no tenants. Maybe it takes a little while. Do the old Intune trick of refreshing the browser. There it is. Easy. It's uh, test access, I guess. 
Great. That seems to work fine. Perfect. Um, well, let's go into Intune then. Let's see what we've got so far. I was going to do Notepad++ there a second ago. I, I don't remember if I've already got it, so let's just check before we do. Again, zoom in too far for those people watching on a mobile phone. Mobile? I went very American there. Apologies to the Brits. Um, mobile phone. All apps. I don't have Notepad++. Let's see if Robopack can get it for us. It's an instant app. I'm going to go for Notepad++. I'm going to create a deployment. It's the machine scope rather than ARM64 or x86. It's going to use PSADT, which is cool. Um, automatically upload and start new deployments. This looks like it's got quite a few features. I'm going to just test just creating a deployment first, though. And waves, look at that. That's interesting. That is interesting. So, let me just quickly create a couple of wave groups. Oh, Defender's not working. Uh, a couple of wave groups. I want to go with um, applications dash test, maybe? And choose create on that, and then do applications dash wave one. And then do applications wave two. Probably got too many of those because I don't actually have that many clients in this environment. But let's call this test. Oh, look, it says test. I want test. Uh, we have a minimum hit rate. So it needs to hit 60%. Let's go with 50 because that's going to be um, difficult to do with only... Yeah, I'll do 75. That's three in my case. Um, maximum run time. 4, 8, 12, 1 day. Okay. Delay after complete before it moves to the next wave, I guess. None. Let's do that. And then we remove the assignment. I'll keep it nice and clean. Okay. So add another target. Oh, add, sorry. Add a target. Uh, let's search for app location. Ah, it's already there. Applications test. Cool. Available or required. Perfect. Let's do another wave. Um, wave. Oh. I got that confusing, didn't I? Let's call it wave two. That's wave one. This is wave two. Um, let's add a target. I'm going to go with app location wave two. I want to delete wave one because that's very confusing. So that's going to go to wave two after that. Okay, I think that I've made that far too complicated. But like I said, this is the first time me trying this out. I'll choose save and start deployment and see what breaks. Because I've just deployed Notepad++ with some options and waves. And I've literally only clicked one button to make all that happen now. So wave one is in progress. Right. Well, let's see what that means in Intune language. Go to apps, all apps. And Notepad++ has just appeared as a Win32 app. Interesting. Um, it's an Intune Win file. And go into Properties. Got a little logo there, that's neat. It's using deploy application.exe. So it is using PowerShell App Deployment Toolkit. So it's grabbing it from Winget and putting it in a deploy application PS1. Interesting. And it's gone to the right group. That is pretty powerful. That, I can see that being very, very useful right now. Okay, uh, what else have we got then? So, RoboPatch. Uh, okay, so because I've deployed an app now, it's in this list of apps that I can patch. And patching, let's just go into that. So, patching, there's this option down here that we, I did click earlier on, but I didn't realize what I was doing. So, this option says, automatically upload and start new deployments. When new versions of the app are added... Robopack 
should automatically create a new deployment for the new version using the waves defined in the previous version. So when a new version of the application is ready to test, it will just push it to my test users. And then if we don't, if it doesn't go well, we can go in and presumably pause. So if, if there's an issue with the application for my test users, we just go in and press pause and it doesn't go to the rest of the waves. I've literally been recording this for less than five minutes now, and I'm already at a stage where I can deploy any application, up to 30,000 applications, and have complete control over how they get deployed and how they get updated. I'm not sure I was ready for this. Um, and, you know, Patron PC is, is good. It's great. They've got a cloud portal now, and it, it looks like they're going to add all those features. But this looks pretty much ready. Um, yeah. Okay, that, complete first impressions. I think I like it. I'm going to have to see how it works. I mean, at this stage, it looks good because it's pushed the app to my tenant, and then it's over to Intune to do the rest. As long as it actually follows through and does deploy an update when an update comes out, that's all I can really ask from it. The interface looks great. I mean, I haven't even looked at any of these settings at all, but what we've got up here, dark, dark mode. Look at that. That's cute. Uh, yeah. And then what else? Let's look at account. Blur level. Oh, we can change how, how the interface looks. That is neat. That's a nice touch. Um, I don't think I need that, but I think I like that it's there. I think that's neat. Um, users, just me. We can add user. What permission levels can we have, do you think? I wonder. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? I wonder what people can do. Because then we can perhaps have people just responsible for deploying apps to test. That would be, that'd be good. Notifications. Um, a notification flow. I'm really looking forward to getting into this a bit more, but I wanted to keep this video quite short, as short as I can, because um, I think it's just interesting for you to see what this tool does. Um, why do I have to add a, why does it say tenants? It's multi-tenant. Can I add a, another tenant? Just gonna add in another one of my demo tenants. Uh, yes. Okay. We'll accept all that again because this is for the new tenant. Still, just one tenant. <clears throat> I did have to refresh that last time, didn't I? Though, so let's take a look. Just the one still. Look at that. First coffee. It's multi-tenant. What does that mean? What's the implications of that? Uh, notepad. What deployments do I have for notepad? This one here. C deployment. You can change the targets. That's what target was all about. So if I edit the deployment, I can add it. That's it. Add a target. The Intune tenant is there. I can change the target. That is incredibly useful. Right. So first coffee, all devices, add that to test. And they're all going to get Notepad++. I'll save that. You're adding one additional tenant, first coffee, to the deployment. These will be uploaded automatically, unless if they were added to an action wave. Okay. Oh, I guess you could test it in one tenant, and then deploy it to the others in different waves. This has so much 
There is so much I can think of doing with this. I manage a few small customers and... Okay, yeah, I think that's enough. Um, I like it. So thank you to the three people who suggested I take a look at Robopack. Hopefully, if you hadn't heard of Robopack, now you have, and you might give it a go. I have no idea what it costs. The trial is um, the trial is free. I didn't even see how long the trial was for. I'll put some information in the description, and no doubt when I've had a bit more time to digest this tool and, and maybe speak to them and see what the pricing is, I'll come back to you with another video. But see you next time. Oh, subscribe.